I'm John Davies with Green Biz, and here at the Green Biz studio, I'm welcoming Jason Morrison, president of Pacific Institute. How are you doing, Jason? Very well. Staying busy. Good. Well, you know, Pacific Institute is one of the top organizations dealing with water issues, and we're here at Verge, where it's sort of sustainability meets technology. So where are you seeing some innovations in the area of water and water reuse and that mm. sort of thing? Yeah, uh, there's a ton happening, and then there's a ton of promise on the horizon line. You know, if you go back in time, for water, the last you go really far back, the last two centuries, in many parts of the world, it's a, been a relatively abundant supply. When water scarcity becomes pronounced, we've typically built storage infrastructure, conveyance infrastructure. In many parts of the world, um, that opportunity has reached its peak, and so when we think about how do we invest in water to increase reliability supply and to augment existing supplies, it's all about technologies. And that's about cleaning water. Uh, it's about thinking about distributed solutions for uh, uh, reusing it on site or, uh, or closing the loop, this so-called circular water management. Um, lots of technology needed there. When you have distributed systems, you need better ways of monitoring. So the whole IoT space comes into play, uh, remote sensing, um, the ability to better manage water when it's in stream, when it's needed, is uh, we've got AI having potential and, uh, and being able to really understand how systems are functioning uh, to make better, more precise decisions around managing water, both for the environment and aquatic systems, uh, but also when we can utilize it for human needs. So many different applications and areas where we can improve how we're gonna be able to manage water going forward. So a lot of our audience is you know, large corporations. So how can they work with Pacific Institute in sort of approaching some of these new technologies? Yeah, so the leading companies already are beginning to pilot some of these ideas. Um, we have uh, a number of those uh, uh, partnerships underway just to test the efficacy. As a research organization, of course, if there's a innovation that has promise, we still want to make sure that we're studying it with science and data to make sure that it lives up to expectations before we look to scale it. Uh, and piloting is important. You know, businesses typically have an entrepreneurial, innovative spirit, and they're ready to try new ideas to see if we can move things forward. Um, and then the next phase is to try to look to partner to scale these successes. If global companies can do anything fast, it's to scale success across uh, operations and supply chains. And to me, that's a really powerful way to leverage change and to, to scale impact as an organization. Okay, one, one last question. We just saw the recent IPCC report, and I think everyone knows that water is the first impact that's gonna be felt from climate change. Yep. Um, are you an optimist? I am, I am an optimist with water. I, I, you know, I, uh, it is a fundamentally renewable resource. Uh, they use a 12-year horizon line. There's amazing things that can be done with water in 12 years if we're looking to accelerate uh, uh, our, our ambitions. And our organization is looking to do that. Uh, we're on a growth streak ourselves as an organization, but we, we think the potential for partnering and focusing on this issue and coming up with climate resilient water systems has uh, a lot of opportunity in the next 10 years. That's great. Well, I've been here with Jason Morrison, president of Pacific Institute. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.